Congressional committees this morning will begin debating the Republican proposal to replace the Affordable Care Act. The bill is already causing divisions within the GOP. President Trump has expressed support, but many conservative lawmakers say it's too similar to Obamacare. One part of the proposed legislation would cut federal funding for any organization that provides abortions. Exceptions include abortions after rape or incest or if the mother's life is in danger. The provision would essentially defund Planned Parenthood if it continues providing abortion services. Planned Parenthood president and CEO Cecile Richards joins us now. Good morning, Cecile. Hi, Nora. So Planned Parenthood receives about $500, $500 million in federal funding. How is that money used? So it's reimbursed for health care services. It's really important that viewers know we're not in the federal budget, um, never have been. We work just like hospitals and other health care providers. And what we get reimbursed for is not abortion, because, of course, it's not allowed under the federal um, government. But we're reimbursed for breast cancer screenings, uh, pap smears, birth control, and millions of folks come to us every single year. Essentially what Congress is saying is women in America, uh, one in five of whom have been to Planned Parenthood, can no longer come to the health care provider of their choice. Who's directly affected if you lose this money? It'll be mainly women who uh, rely on Planned Parenthood, again, for preventive care in a, in a lot of the Midwestern parts of the country. And here's one of the things I think it's important to, to know. We're really proud of the progress we've made as women, especially here on International Women's Day. We're now actually at a historic all-time low for teenage pregnancy in the United States. We're at a 30-year low for unintended pregnancy in America. Planned Parenthood is very proud of that work. And we feel like it's time to actually invest in that and do more of it rather than actually cut off the, the largest national women's health care provider. And what do you attribute to that drop in uh, abortion rates? It's better access to family planning. It's better access to sex education. Of course, under the Affordable Care Act, one of the things we fought for so hard Hard was every woman that's in, that's insured 55 million women now have access to no-cost birth control that means women are getting better access and they're able to plan their families and that is a good it's good for the American economy and it's good for the American women still there are so many people that think when you think of Planned Parenthood you think of ab abortion and yet as you point out only three percent of the services offered at Planned Parenthood involve abortion do you ever think well maybe we should let the abortion part of our practice go rather than risk losing all of this money? Well, of course, that's, that's sort of what, uh, the, the, I guess, the president has said. And we just feel it's really important, Gail, that uh, women, uh, two and a half million women, come to us every year for health care services. And uh, they depend on high-quality, affordable care that includes family planning, cancer screenings, well women visits. For many women, we're their only doctor. And we also provide access to safe and legal abortion. And we just simply won't turn our backs on American women. If you lose this money, what do you do? I mean, Planned Parenthood will be around. We've been around 100 years. Uh, we'll be around 100 more. I think really the question is what happens to these women? You know, and we work very closely with the community health centers uh, because they refer to us. Mm -hmm. So women, a woman, um, I was just in, in Michigan, you know, a woman who has a breast uh, lump or needs birth control and can't get into a community health center for a month or two months, they refer her to Planned Parenthood because we can see her that day. Women can't go without this care, and that's why we're so, we're, we feel so strong. About this. Some people have described it or called it a war on women. Do you see it that way? Well, it's definitely a war on women's health care. I mean, it's incredible because Planned Parenthood operates just like every other hospital, right? We get reimbursed for services, and yet we are the only organization that's been singled out by the Congress. Uh, we're the, we are the only national women's health care provider, and we are extremely popular. I mean, we have a support of more than 70 percent of the American people. It's, we are a lot more popular than Congress, so I, I wish they would think about this and think about the fact that women in this country need high-quality, affordable care, and that's across the board. Just to revisit that point again, you don't get a check for $500 million for the federal government. You're not in the budget. These That's are, correct. These are Medicaid reimbursements for people who are on Medicaid, who are poor, who go and receive services, not abortion. But to that point, are there other hospitals that provide similar services who would also, under this new Trump rule, also stop receiving funding for this care? Nope. Right now, we're the only ones that are singled out. And we, again, it's a really good point, Nora, because we do operate just like hospitals. Many well, of them provide we? abortions as well. I mean, well. if this is a principle of the Trump administration and the new HHS secretary, shouldn't they deny all Medicaid reimbursements 
to hospitals and other providers who happen to provide abortion as well? Well, I think we'll see what they say. I mean, look, it, what we believe is that women should have their access to all their health care, whether it's at Planned Parenthood or at other community health centers uh, and hospitals. And I, one thing I just think is important to, to recognize is we, half of our health centers are in medically underserved communities. I was just in Paul Ryan's own district. We have three health centers there. Uh, in one of those towns, in Racine, there is no other community health center. And so the women that I met with, our patients, said, where am I going to go for my birth control? Where am I going to go for my annual and how exam? how many women are treated at that facility or go uh, there? Thousands. Are you uh, having hey. any conversation with the administration or GOP leaders at this point? Is there a dialogue? Um, well, we have definitely communicated repeatedly and we'll, we'll meet with anyone uh, to yeah. talk about the important care that we provide and most importantly the need that women in this country continue to have for high quality affordable care but, again and we're in making, the court of what, public what, opinion 62 percent of the voters do not want federal funding cut from uh, Planned Parenthood that's absolutely right and that's because we we're a health care provider yeah. we appreciate you coming Cecile very thanks much. for having me thank you very much thank you